So there's a lot of great fat loss advice out there. Track your calories, eat more protein, cut out junk food, lift weights, get your 10,000 steps, and all this is amazing advice, and you should do it. But the sad truth is that 80, 90% of people watching these videos have already heard it, they've tried some variation of it, and they've failed. And what I'm gonna tell you in this video is why these people keep failing, and this will completely change how you approach fat loss and getting a lean physique. This honest advice might be the missing piece you need for everything to finally click. So we all know the story. You neglect your fitness for a long time until you finally get fed up and you realize something has to change. Maybe it's the way you looked at yourself in the mirror that day, or you saw a photo of yourself, or you heard a comment someone said. Whatever the trigger was, you make a decision. It's time to get serious about it. And starting Monday, you're on it. You're more disciplined with your diet, you're hitting the gym, you're training harder than ever, you're adding cardio on the side, and you start seeing some results. After a while, you feel like you got the hang of it. Maybe this time, it's going to be different compared to what you've done before. And that honeymoon phase goes on for a couple of more weeks, even a couple more months. But then something happens. Something throws a monkey wrench in the works. It could be a family thing. It could be a new deadline at work. It could be some relationship stress, a vacation, a holiday. Bottom line, you fall off the wagon. And at first, you reassure yourself, it's not a big deal. You're gonna get back on track as soon as things go back to normal. A few more days pass, a few more days turn into a week, week turns into a couple of weeks, and with each passing day, it gets harder and harder to recommit and get back on track. Things just keep coming up. You forget to hit the like button in my videos. It's like the whole world is conspiring against you. And as time goes by, eventually it feels like you've lost all the progress you made and now you have to do it all over again. And just the thought of that makes you feel very uncomfortable. Somehow you manage to go back to your old ways and now it all feels like a giant waste of time. This is how the journey looks like for most people. And the question is why? Why does this keep happening? And most importantly, what would the journey look like if you didn't let those days off track pile up? And here's the truth. All the people that have the type of physique that you wanna have also have those days off. There's no objective reality in which life lets you do this without any interruptions. It's not gonna happen, that's not how it works. Progress is never linear and there's always a lot more to deal with than we think. But there is a difference between those who succeed and those who fail. And it boils down to one simple rule, never fall back to zero. You're allowed to fail, you're allowed to make mistakes, but when that inevitably happens, don't let yourself go all the way back to zero. It's okay to take a couple of steps back as long as you're taking more steps forward. And it takes a while to go back to zero. You don't go back to zero in one weekend if you just spent a month or two on track. Yeah, the scale might show four or five pounds of gain, but that's mostly bloat and water weight. If you just took 10 steps forward, don't beat yourself up if you had to take one or two steps back. That's normal, just get back on track. And I get it, losing progress hurts a lot more than the enjoyment we get from making progress. Our emotional responses to negative events are much stronger than positive ones. This is called the negativity bias, and we all have it. And it's also why it's so important to not lose sight of the big picture. Acknowledge your wins, look back at how far you've come, remember, as as long as you're not falling back to zero, as long as you're making more steps forward than steps back, you're in a net positive and you're winning. Getting lean is not about perfection. It's about minimizing the damage in bad situations. You fell off, fine, it happened. Recommit and get back on track. It's not about never having setbacks. It's about what do you do after you have a setback. It's about not letting that cheat meal turn into a cheat day that turns into a cheat week and eventually a cheat month. And it doesn't take a lot to maintain positive momentum. Just don't let yourself have zero days. Zero days are days where you don't do a single thing towards your fitness goals. I want you to promise yourself not to have zero days. If it's been the whole day, you haven't done anything, it's 20 minutes before bed, pack your gym bag, write down what you're gonna have for breakfast the next day, do one single push-up. One is better than zero. Do anything, even the smallest thing, toward your fitness goals to get your mind out of that all or nothing mindset into an all or something mindset, which is the key to consistency. And look, building habits is hardest at the start. It's a lot like taking off in an airplane. It takes a lot of work to get it off the ground and it's not about going to 100% speed instantly. You need to gradually build up speed, 
at the right angle. And before you know it, you're at cruising altitude, then you're good. If you try to go maximum speed straight up at liftoff, you'd crash. And sadly, that's what most people do with their fitness goals. They lack the patience to take things one step at a time. They start with 1200 calories per day, stick with it for five to six weeks, fall off, feel bad about that, and then up regaining all the way in the next month or so. Don't be like most people. Stop focusing so much on intensity and focus on consistency instead. You're building habits that you will have for the rest of your life. You're creating a new lifestyle. By trying to skip ahead, you'll never get there. And you don't need extremes to get to 15% body fat. You don't need to be a genius. You don't need to sacrifice your whole life for it, but you do need to be consistent. And if you're looking for help with accountability and consistency and you want me to coach you on your fitness journey, check out the details in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe below and I'm going to see you in the next video.